In this segment, I will explain to you the four required sounds that must be used in all bosun calls. The first one is a low pitch. The second one is a high pitch. Third is a whirbling sound similar to what a canary would make. And we'll explain later in what they are used for. The last one is a trill. The trill is forming a R sound or fluttering your tongue on the roof of your mouth, such as this. The first sound, starting by holding the bosun's call in the proper manner, is the low pitch. I am in a clenched position, I'll explain those later. It sounds like this. The next one is the high pitch, still holding it in a low form. The third is the warble, sounding like a canary, by actuating your finger from a clench, or a curve to a clench, to a curve to a clench position. The timing on warbles is subject to what call you're producing. It can be produced pretty quickly, or it can be done slowly. And the last is the trill, as we explained, forming an R or fluttering your tongue on the roof of your mouth. It is very difficult and takes extensive practice. In this segment, I'll explain the four basic calls that Sea Scouts need to be proficient in learning. The first call that I would like to explain to you is attention, and it sounds like this. Starting low, finishing high for a one second duration. That is attention. Again, it sounds like this. That means for those on board, listen up. There's going to be a command come through. For all hands on deck, the attention is given, followed by a two second duration of a low, followed by a two second duration of a high, followed by a two second of fade, and it sounds like this. We give the attention. Again, put together. It's all hands on deck. The next important one is pipe the side. Pipe the side is given when rendering honors to a vessel passing. While underway, Sea Scouts would be mustered upon the rail, come into a formation, into a parade rest, evenly spaced amongst the rail. The bosun would have everybody evenly spaced and would go. They would come from a parade rest to an attention. And then only the bosun would salute while manning the rail as the ship passes. You start out with a very low five second, raised to a high pitch five second, followed by a low five second. If the vessel is slow to pass, you better have enough wind because you cannot take a second breath. You can edit all that out. It sounds like <laughs> this. And as the vessel passes, in your review, you finish with a high, shrill note. So from the beginning, we prayed rest. All the Sea Scouts are lined, manning the rail. <laughs> Finally, the carry-on is given by warbling, as we talked about how the canary sounds. You hold your salute, and you drop it at the end. Again, the carry-on is a series of actuating 
your little finger over top of the bowl, the hole of the bowl or the hole of the buoy. Piping the side or piping colors are the same. You start out with a given the attention. Most start parade rest in formation. He or she will give the attention. We're at attention. And at the first sound, the halyard starts up with the United States flag is when the sound goes and then the salute goes. So we're at parade rest. And as the flag reaches the top, the piper holds the call until the flag is raised to the very top of the yard or the mast. And once it reaches the top, the piper looks and he or she will stop at a high pitch, meaning as the flag is going up, he would stop it at, at that point there. Everybody's still at attention with the hand salute until the flag halyard is made off and the color guard is finished. At that point, you would give the carry on command or the warbling sound, which is and drop the salutes. There are 12 points in the scout law. Remembering a scout is always clean. Sea scout ships are always clean. The bosun would sound for them to man their brooms and give the ship a thorough sweeping fore and aft is done with a bosun call and it sounds like this. There would be a tension given, which is the short and long, or the short duration blast. <coughs> Attention, meaning we're gonna pass the word. Sweepers is done in two motions, high, low pitches, also followed by a warble at the end and a fade. So we do attention. That is sweepers. We talked about the 12 points of the scout law. There is one additional one called a scout is always hungry, which makes it the 13th. Longest and difficult call is called mess call. It takes approximately 39 seconds to do. It has high pitch, low pitch, it has warble, and it has trill. And it sounds thusly like this. <laughs> <laughs> 